Welcome to this short chair-based yoga practice. I'm Dave Emerson, Director of Yoga Services at the Trauma Center in Brookline. When you're ready, feel free to give yourself a moment to feel where you're sitting. We get a feeling for the chair you're in right now. And you may notice if you have some room, maybe sitting forward a little bit in your chair, slightly forward, so you have some space around your spine. If you ever feel any back pain or for any reason at all, you can always sit back. When you're ready, you might experiment with moving a little, maybe side to side, maybe forward and back. Just start to get a feeling for the space around you. You can also make that more circular, if you like, more of a circular movement, kind of rounding out the edges. But again, just starting to feel the space around you a little bit and starting to sense your body in relation to that space. All right, when you're ready, maybe guiding yourself back toward neutral, back toward stillness. And then you might experiment with lengthening up a little through the top of your head. You might find you can kind of extend slightly through the top of your head and just feel what that's like to sit up tall, comfortably tall. So you might feel that in your back and your spine. Maybe space around your neck. Then beginning to notice your breath. Noticing your breath. And you may be breathing through your nose or your mouth. Doesn't matter. Just noticing. So sitting comfortably tall, feeling what that feels like, breathing and just breathing with some awareness, noticing that you're breathing. So when you're ready, if you like, maybe shift your attention to feeling whatever surface is underneath you. Whatever surface is underneath you. Maybe the floor, maybe the chair, maybe a bed. But notice where your body is connected to a surface beneath you. One way to do that is to shift around a little. Small movements. So you can experiment with small movements and focusing on what you feel. Maybe texture, maybe temperature. Uh, sometimes we don't feel anything actually, and that's okay. But just experimenting a little. You might also feel maybe the chair underneath you, wherever you're connected to the chair underneath you. And when you're ready, shifting towards some movements. And maybe the first movement could be turning your chin from side to side. So just sitting comfortably tall and turning your chin from side to side. And just experiment. When you start to turn, notice how that feels. And notice that you have control over how much you turn, that range of movement. You can make it very small. You can make it bigger. That's up to you. But really focusing on what you feel. Breathing normally, so your breath is moving. Okay, maybe a few of those. Next one is if you come back to the middle and just experiment with, with nodding your head yes. So gently dropping and lifting your chin. Dropping and lifting. And notice how that feels. You might feel some space in the back of your neck, maybe the front of your neck. Again, you have control over how much you move, so maybe moving within a comfortable range for yourself. And 
then the, okay, so a few of those. The last one, whenever you're ready, the last neck movement is just tilting to one side. Tilting to one side, maybe this time just hanging out for a moment and taking a few breaths. And when you tilt, you might feel muscles in, in one side of your neck lengthening, muscles lengthening. And if you're interested, you could bring one hand, one or both hands to the side of your neck that's lengthening, and maybe even like a just a gentle massage, little contact there, your hand. Notice what those muscles feel like. A couple of breaths, breathing, and then when you're ready, shifting, switching sides. Switching sides, and notice how the other side feels in this moment. Breath is moving. Breath is always moving. And then when you're ready, back, coming back to neutral, bringing yourself back to neutral, maybe some shoulder rolls. Shoulder rolls. And when you start to roll your shoulders, notice that you can, you can roll your shoulders in both directions. So maybe switching direction a few times. And again, ex just experimenting with some movement around your shoulders and feel what that feels like. Breath moving. So shoulder muscles, space around your shoulders. That might be good. One other one, one other one could be bringing your fingertips to the top of your shoulders. Fingertips to the top of your shoulders and then making circles with your elbows. Circles with your elbows. And again, notice you can make those circles in both directions. So feel free to experiment. And notice there may be some different muscles kind of involved in this movement. And just feel what that feels like. Shoulders. Breath. Whenever you're ready, maybe just kind of, maybe just shake it out a little bit through your hands. Shake it out through your hands. You might feel your hands, maybe fingers. And then we can experiment with some other movements. So that was a neck and shoulders. Uh, if you want, you can do a, a twist. And that's basically just turning to one side. Just turn to one side. You can put your hands where, wherever is comfortable. Maybe you're in a some kind of a chair that has an arm. You could hold the arm of the chair. Or just move your hands across your leg. But it's a feeling of turning from the bottom of your spine through the top of your spine. And again, notice how that feels to turn. Maybe take a few breaths. When you turn, you can look straight to the side or you can turn your chin and look slightly behind you. That's another choice, another option. Okay, so breathing wherever you are. And then when you're ready, when you're ready, unwinding through the middle and maybe turning the other way. And again, so placing your hands wherever is comfortable. How much you turn is totally up to you. You might feel like turning just a little bit, maybe adding a little more to that dynamic of turning, your choice. Making sure you can breathe. Maybe a good point to really check in with your breath. And the general encouragement with any of this is as long as you can breathe, you can you make good choices. If you find that you can't breathe comfortably, maybe backing out of it, backing out of it or coming out of it altogether until you can breathe comfortably. So a few breaths in that twist and then back to the middle, back to the middle when you're ready. Maybe for a moment we can experiment with some strength, some core strength, just right in a chair. And one way to do that is if you start by sitting up tall, 
comfortably tall, and then just recline a little, leaning back just a little bit, and then holding. And when you recline and hold, maybe notice some of the muscles you use. You might feel some muscles, some stomach muscles, some core muscles engaging a little. If you like, take a couple of few breaths, a few breaths there, and then when you're ready, then shift back up to neutral, right back to the middle, and maybe feel those muscles ease up a little. So change from being kind of intense to less intense. You might feel that change. And you might pause for a couple of breaths. And that might be enough. Or if you want, one more time and we can add a few things. Add a few things to it. Starts the same reclining. Reclining slightly. Holding. Feeling the muscles you're using. And then if you want, you could experiment with lifting one leg off the floor. And feel what that change is like, what muscles start to engage, maybe leg muscles. You're lifting one leg, you could even extend that leg. Feel the muscles that are engaging there. Taking a few breaths. So again, always breathing. Even if you're doing something intense, you can still breathe. I'm breathing here for three. You really feel the muscles you're using. Two. Strength. And one. And then release. And come back to neutral. Make it really easy on, on your body for a second. And feel those muscles ease up. Notice that change. And then if you want, you could try the other side. So reclining, holding, but breathing. Feeling the muscles you're using. And then you can, if you like, lifting one leg, maybe extending. Extending, you might feel these big muscles on top of your leg, quadriceps, start to engage. It's a really big muscle group. And it can be an intense feeling. So you're always in, you're in charge of it. You can make it less intense by lowering your leg. Or if you want, keep that intensity and take a few breaths. Feel some of your muscles. Breathing for three. So just a couple of seconds here. Two. Muscles engaged. One. And then release. Release and notice that shift. Notice that shift. Maybe back to neutral. One other, one more. Maybe one more here in this sequence. If you start by sitting up tall, but this time leaning forward. Leaning forward. And when you lean forward, you can put your forearms on your thighs, the top of your knees. That might be enough. That may be good. Other choices. You might toe heel your feet a little wider than your hips. A little wider than your hips and lean so that your hands or fingertips might even touch the floor, maybe the floor. You can also put something underneath your hands. If you have a bag or a couple of pillows just to lean onto, but it's just an experiment of leaning forward, folding forward. If you're doing that, you might just kind of allow your head to hang heavy your head to hang heavy and you may even feel the weight of your head in relation to the muscles in your neck and your upper back if you like you can gently move your head yes and no and just kind of let those muscles in your neck and upper back release a little a little bit and so you're experimenting with a form that's comfortable for you in this forward fold you can always move small or bigger movements. You can always change and adjust. But maybe give yourself about 20 seconds just to fold forward and breathe. When you breathe, notice when you breathe in the forward fold, you might feel your back. Back muscles move. 
Back ribs may move as you breathe here. You might feel that. So breath is always moving. Four. Maybe folding forward here. Three. Breath moving. Two. One. And then when you're ready, when you're ready, starting to make, make your way back up to sitting. And taking your time, especially if you get dizzy. If you feel dizzy at all, just take it really slow. Really slow to come back up. At your own pace, ending up sitting comfortably tall. And maybe just pause for a moment. When you sit up tall, maybe kind of get reoriented to the length in your spine, that sense of lengthening through the top of your head a little, but allowing your shoulders to be at ease. Shoulders might even drop slightly. What does that feel like to have a tall spine but letting your shoulders drop a little? getting oriented to wherever you're touching the ground, wherever part of your body is connected to a chair, floor, any surface underneath you. And finally, just getting oriented to your breath. Your breath, and just notice. Notice that you're breathing in. Notice that you're breathing out. If you like, pause for a moment here. And, and at your own pace. When you're ready, slowly opening your eyes if they're closed and making yourself comfortable. <laughs>